Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to farewell Twitter as we know it. It's been bought by driverless man, Elon Musk. Our thoughts and prayers are with the journalists who will feel this loss most keenly. 69% of journos used Twitter compared to just 18% of people with regular sized egos. It was an incredible resource where reporters could come together and jerk each other off without ruining the ambience of the Walkleys. Born in 2006, Twitter gave users 140 characters to tweet anything they liked. News, views, rape threats. Early on, Twitter facilitated revolutionary movements such as the Arab Spring, Occupy Wall Street and the Ice Bucket Challenge. It's been credited with platforming people of colour, even if that colour is cinnamon-dusted nutsack. But like all children, Twitter grew to disappoint us. It was abused by presidents and trolls and people with undiagnosed personality disorders. Yes, the Trump years did take our sanity, but they gave us the beautiful enigma that was Kofefe. What is it you were trying to say, my delicious little duck Larange? Now we see nearly one billion tweets per day. Most of them probably wrong. All of them unnecessary. Friends, as we walk through the Silicon Valley of the shadow of death spiraling stock prices, we must accept that Twitter has passed to Elon. A man so ambitious, he plans to go to Mars and so intolerable, we hope he stays there. Goodbye, sweet bird. I'll miss being told to kill myself by men wearing wraparound sunglasses in their profile pictures. I'll miss politicians liking porn tweets. I'll miss the wisdom of celebrities such as, I just sharted myself. That's when you fart and you shit yourself on accident. That was beautiful. So please join us in celebrating the life and death of Twitter. There'll be some light refreshments and of course, tea and kafefe. Goodbye, sweet bird. I'll miss the lobotomized shitheads. You know who you are. I'll miss anyone with a blue drip in their profile name. You're such sweet people. I'll miss right-wing trolls. I love the Twitter beefs, and I will stop what I am doing, and I will waste an entire day on a Twitter beef. I'll miss complaining about Qantas losing my baggage to everyone who follows me on Twitter. Did you know they lost my baggage? You know what, credit where credit's due though, you did manage to get rid of Will Anderson. How am I supposed to fill my day now? By being a mother to my child? F no! Great, what social platform am I supposed to use now? LinkedIn? How many corporations do I give a blowjob to now? Just enjoying diversity day with my Deloitte family. They're not your family, Karen! Yeah, what, I'm too old for TikTok? I can't be doing reels on Instagram. What, what am I gonna get from Facebook? Oh, this mum has a birthday cake hack you won't believe. Yeah, I would believe it. It's called Icy. I don't need that shit. I need Twitter, I need Twitter. I'm relevant only on Twitter. I'm going back to ICQ. Find me at 2hot4u69 at hotmail.com.